everything is changing. 2020, year of the murder hornet, we've had the largest number of retail stores closed ever. Corporate bankruptcy is an all time high. We have a lot of stuff that's going on and everything is changing. But I want you to think back to 9-11. See, the economy was in a similar position. 9-11 just accelerated what was already going to happen. The economy was going to melt down, 9-11 just made it faster. Now, before 2020, Year of the Murder Hornet, I did a lot of videos about two years ago talking about this upcoming recession. I did not predict the pandemic, but I did predict the recession and I said it was coming and you needed to be ready. And everyone that listened to me was ready. Now, here's the next thing that's coming. Many of the things that were instituted during the pandemic are not going to change. I have developed a very mean and robust DoorDash habit. There are many habits that people, cause we're six months, got to go into the seventh month of this. Six months of a certain behavior forms new habits. If you're gonna start a new business and you don't have a website and you don't have an online presence, you're messing up. If you don't build an email list, if you don't know how to run online advertising, you're messing up. This is the big change. The internet was eating the world to begin with. Now, the internet is like Jaws. If you're starting a business, I don't care if it's a car wash. If you do not have a website and a way for people to communicate, a way for people to book deals and stuff with you on the internet, you're gonna lose. There's a car wash I go to that is a physical location and they, they don't have any internet action going on. That's going to catch up with them in the future. See, this is the thing. And this is one of the things that I learned years and years ago. When I was a storage auction reseller, I leveraged the power of the Craigslist. I leveraged the power of eBay. I leveraged the power of Amazon. That was 20 something years ago. I've been making money online for two decades and I've become better and better at it because at first I was doing I was in the real physical world I had a physical location and I had to go out to auctions and buy stuff to sell here on the internet and in my physical location 2009 was a game changer because here's the thing is in my last video where I was talking about people who were all about all these sexy business models Forex, Amazon FBA, day trading, the stock market. Here's the thing. This is why these businesses are so seductive. They don't really require that much from you. This is the typical Forex or day trader scenario. You roll out of bed, you get to the markets, the markets close at a certain point and you go on about your day. You don't have to worry about no inventory. You don't have to worry about no employees. You don't have to worry about any customers. You just go ahead and extract pure money from the marketplace. You know how hard it is to extract pure cash from the marketplace. Right now, there are many, many people with Forex courses. There are many, many people with day trading courses. There are many, many people with Amazon FBA courses. And the reality is that for you to make money, you need to be in a form of service to somebody. One of the things that so many people really fail to pay attention to, they want to go ahead and have deploy one of these sexy business models. They want to go ahead and do some Forex or do some Amazon FBA or do some day trading or do one of these internet hacks of selling maps or some other stuff like that. The reality is the real fundamentals of the exchange of value for money do not change because it's the internet. This is why these hacks only work for a short period of time or really don't work that well at all for most people. As I put into you with the last video, only 8% of people who do Amazon 
the FBA are marginally successful. Only 1.7% of day traders are successful and 1% of Forex traders are successful. So you have in all cases, a 92% to 99% failure rate, but people are still throwing money in, buying courses, losing money Forex, losing money day trading, because the way that you've been programmed from birth is to try to get the most for the least, which is the antithesis of the do more principle. Do more, get more. But see, everybody's trying to day trade, rent, seek, and they don't understand that this big change, because see, here's the thing. As long as you refuse to accept the fact that you've got to do something, yes, you, you gotta do something to get this money, you are delaying your success messing around with day trading, messing around with Forex, messing around with Amazon FBA. There's a chick here on YouTube who's been running Amazon FBA experiments for the last year and she's not made any money. However, she does have a YouTube business and she does have online courses that puts close to a million dollars a year in her pocket. So she's doing this for the views, I think, but she's pretty smart. She has money and Amazon FBA ain't working out for her. And she's one of, she's pretty intelligent, pretty smart. The name of the YouTube channel is Cupcake Trainings. And she is failing at Amazon FBA because Amazon FBA is so hard to be successful at. And she's smart, she has capital, and she has experience, and she's still failing with Amazon FBA. Yet you, in your Batman underwear, are just gonna buy an Amazon FBA course. Like, I pointed this out in many videos. There are many people who have Amazon FBA courses that they didn't get the Mac Lauren or the Lambo or the Rose or the Mansion until after they started selling courses. None of that stuff was in existence before they started selling courses. They made more money selling courses than they actually did doing Amazon FBA. Same thing with a lot of these day traders, same thing with a lot of these Forex people. Yet these folks will continue to make millions of dollars. Why? Because people are fundamentally lazy. Well, you know, someone like me here on YouTube, been on YouTube 10 years, I come up here like, look, start a business, serve customers, create a product, create a service. It's gonna take you two to three years for you really, ah, we, Glendon, we don't wanna hear that. Tell us something sexy. Tell us something easy. Tell us something that is going to rock my world. Tell me something that I don't have to spend a lot of money. I don't have to spend a lot of time. I don't have to spend a lot of energy and I can get massive returns. That's what I'm looking for. And oh yeah, by the way, it needs to be cheap because I don't have much money. This is where so many people are. This is why so many people are gonna be left behind because they don't wanna buckle down and do the work. I want you to like, I run multiple ads in my YouTube videos because it makes me more AdSense money. I have seen in the comments, I could not watch this video because there was too many ads. Let's, let's just stay right there. You're sitting on your ass watching a screen. And because there's too many ads, you cannot make it through the video. Let me tell you how successful you're gonna be in life. Not very. Let's go ahead and examine it. You're sitting on your butt doing nothing, passively consuming content. And because there's too many ads, you like, I can't watch this video. It's just too hard. You ain't doing nothing. You're doing absolutely nothing. And from a mental standpoint, you feel that you're so special that your time is so valuable that you can't watch an ad. You know it was ads that created television. It was ads that created radio. The 
proven concept of running ads against content has been going on since the 1800s. It's not going to go away. It's not going anywhere. But for those of you, and you all right, and if you don't want to see the ads, you can just buy YouTube uh, Red and not see the ads. Oh, I can't spend $9 a month. It's too much. It's too much money. Your level of success is dictated by your actions. And this is why so many people are going to get left behind. Because this big change, yes, everything is going to the internet. Yes, everything's moving online. But you still have to have fundamental business acumen and practices to be successful online. In my videos, no eBay, no Amazon, I talked about this because many Amazon sellers were like, I'm just gonna go out here, find this product, put it on Amazon. I'm not gonna worry about an email list. I'm not gonna worry about learning how to run ads. I'm not gonna worry about learning how to learn customers. Amazon's gonna take care of me. And mere months later, Amazon's like, we're, we're going to remove you from the buy box. And your sales go, and you're just like a sitting duck. You're like, I don't know how to run the traffic. I don't know how to get ads. I don't know how to do a website. I don't know how to do anything. All I know how to do is to do product research, look at what someone else is doing online and copy it. That's all I know how to do. You know how long that's gonna last? Two years, max. Two years, if that. And I proudly, We'll say go back and reference my videos where I predicted with stunning accuracy what was gonna happen in the coming days of Amazon FBA. And I've noticed that, you know, I used to be a member of an Amazon FBA group. I had to come out because the whining was too much. They were complaining, Amazon removed my listings, Amazon shut me down, Amazon did all this other stuff. See, here's the thing, and this is why so many people are gonna be left behind. When you put your future and the profitability in the hands of someone else, at some point they're gonna realize, we don't need to be giving John all of this milk and honey. We need to keep some of the milk and honey for us. Matter of fact, let's keep all of it. See, this is why people are getting left behind because people don't want to do the work. You gotta learn how to get customers. You gotta learn how to get leads. If Understand, if you learn how to get customers, if you learn how to get leads, that is a multi-billion dollar business by itself. Just finding people who are looking for products to sell. This is where we are in 2020, year of the murder hornet, year of the pandemic. Everything is about to rapidly move online. But if you are not a technician, you don't have marketing skills, you don't understand customer behavior, you don't understand how to sell a product, you can put up a website, but it ain't gonna be successful. I, after almost 10 years of business experience of buying low, selling high, running ads, creating content. Yes, I created content for Craigslist. That whole nine and a half year, I was a storage auction dude, prepared me to make pure internet money. I was running ads every day. I was talking to customers every day. And in the beginning, I wasn't that good at it. But over time with the feedback, and I was learning like, well, if I speak to the customer this way, or if I run an ad this way, I yield these results. Time, years, years of writing ads. Years, not a week, not a month, years of writing Craigslist ads. Years of doing internet stuff. Years of making creative eBay listings before eBay shut me down. This is why you're getting left behind because you don't wanna take the two to three years to buckle down and learn the craft of sales, marketing, customer acquisition. I don't care what ever business you have on the line, you still have to do those things. Oh, you got an Instagram page. You making a lot of money from shout outs. Then what? Instagram changed the game. Your page ain't getting the, they like, took away the likes and all this other stuff. You don't know how to get customers. You don't even know how to talk to a customer. 
See, there are many internet businesses that like Instagram, if you got a big page, you got a lot of people, you can sell shout outs to your follower. That's become very hard to do because it's very hard to build an Instagram page that has high engagement because the marketers, the people who buy marketing and advertising have gotten savvy and it's like, what's your engagement? They don't care if you have 2 million followers and you put up a post and you only get 10 likes. They're not, they're not buying that. They're not, they're not messing around with that. So, Yes, everything's changing, everything's moving online, but you still have to have the skill sets to run a business because there are many folks who were like, I'm doing Amazon and FBA. I'm making all of this money at Merch by Amazon. What happens when it first comes out, it's nice and juicy. And as more people pile in, you experience diminishing returns because you don't own that. It's not your platform. You can't do what you want to do. My advice to you is to let go of the day trading, Amazon FBA, Forex, and learn how to run a business correctly. Yes, it's going to take you some time, but if you're 20 something and you spend the next three years learning how to do this, you're 25, you could be a millionaire. See. My old neighbor, Sally Mae Jones, she said this thing that is very true as it was when she said it. It's very true just today. If you live long enough, you're gonna be old. You 20, you spend three to four years learning your craft, building your business, you could stroke out the rest of your life. But people are looking for the bag, to secure the bag, to get that money like now. Kind of like relationships. People expect a beautiful relationship, but people have no relationship skills. They have no communication skills. They don't even know how to be in a relationship and they wonder why relationships suck ass. It's you! You don't know how to run a relationship. You don't. But that's all I got for you guys. If you want to learn how to run a business, get your corporate entity together, develop business credit, because in the month of October, I'm going to be talking about branding, something that really no one really talks about because it's, it's difficult, it's tough, but this will separate your business from someone else's business. And when you brand your business, you can get more money. So the corporate toolbox, like, let me go ahead and let y'all in. The corporate toolbox is gonna to go in for months. The best time to get in was last month, and the next best time is to get in this month. You know why? Because at the end of this month, there will be more curriculum in the corporate toolbox because literally I feel it may take me six months to build this out and each month the price is going to go up and also from a business standpoint what is the best time to start your business aspirations right now because it's going to take you two to three years so the sooner you get started the sooner that two to three year clock starts ticking so then at the end of those two to three years you can have the bag you can be living that six or seven figure lifestyle so links below. So with that, I will talk to you guys in the next video.